hello students today we are going to discuss about the new subject basic electrical and electronics engineering for computer science engineering students and civil engineering students and mechanical engineering students that is unit 1 basic electrical and electronics engineering unit 1 we will start in this class that is b triple e for Unit 1 is Unit 1 is DC and AC circuits The DC and AC circuits is the unit 1 In the earlier classes you studied about what is uh, DC, what is AC, what is AC current, what is DC current, what is meant by current, all the basic concepts we will discuss in unit 1. Initially what is meant by current, what is meant by current I, everybody knows that current is indicated by the letter I and is measured in amperes. What is meant by current? Current can be defined as the motion of a charge through a conducting material measured in amperes. The flow of electrons is called as current. The unit of current is ampere and abbreviated as ampere and denoted by A. Current will be denoted by A. Simply, we can write current is I equal to dQ by dt. The amount of charge passed over a time is known as current I equal to dQ by dt. Or the current can also be defined as the rate of charge passing through a point in an electric circuit that is mathematically represented as I equal to dQ by dt. Where Q is the charge charge q is the measured in coulombs it is current in amperes it is denoted by current will be always measured in amperes and simply a you can show what is the symbol of a the current can also be defined as i equal to q by t the charge passed over a period of time is known as q by t the total charge passes through an arbitrary cross-section of a conducting material per unit second is known as current. The basics are required before starting of unit 1 that is DC and AC circuit. What is DC circuit? What is AC circuit? The chapter name itself DC and AC circuits. There are two types of currents are there. One is direct current DC and another one is AC current, AC, DC and AC currents. A direct current that remains constant with respect to time. That means current if you consider on an x-axis and y-axis, if take y-axis and time in seconds, then on y-axis if you consider current or I or V if you assume the current I or V also we can consider. We can consider V also I, I also we can consider. If the current is maintained constant with respect to time, then it is known as DC current. It is origin on x axis we consider time, on y axis we consider current. That is, it is a representation of DC current. The DC current magnitude will be remains constant with respect to time. And another one is alternating current. Alternating current is alternating in nature like this. If it varies alternating with respect to time, if you consider time period on x-axis and voltage or current on y-axis, then it will be AC current, alternating current. Next we go for second one is voltage. What is meant by voltage? A voltage may be 
measured in volts it is also known as potential difference bd pd it is known as potential difference voltage or potential difference it is measured in volts to move the electrons in conductor suppose if a conductor if you consider a conductor to move the electrons in this conductor electrons movement to move the electrons in a conductor in a particular direction requires some work or energy transfer this work will be performed by an external motive source a electromotive force that is given by a battery suppose if it is a conductor assume that it is a conductor to move the electrons in this conductor we require an external source external electromotive force is required that may be battery may be a motive force like external motive force plus and minus for battery after that if you give a, a, a voltage to this conductor and electrons move to throw this conductor and this electrons moves movement force is required that is known as emf the electromotive force is required to move the electrons typically represented by the battery it is emf is this emf is also known as voltage or potential difference the voltage vab suppose if it is a a and b terminals the, let us assume that it is a one circuit and this is terminal a this is the terminal b assume that it is a and this is b the, now the potential difference between two points a and b in electric circuit is the energy needed to move a unit charge from a to b from a to b if you want to move a charge we require some potential difference a and b to move the some potential difference is required to move the charge voltage ante emi voltage anedi oka force that force moves the electrons ante electrons move cheyali ante current move current flow avvalante kachithanga potential difference undali next we go for another definition what is meant by power first we derived that what is current what is voltage after that power power is the time rate of doing work power is denoted by the letter p if you denote the power p then if the work is differential work done with respect to time dt then the power is denoted by watts in case of that power is denoted by watts and measured in watts and or energy in joules from the voltage and current relationships power also denoted by v into i the multiplication of voltage and current in dc circuits gives v into i in the first chapter we go for dc circuits and ac circuits the first chapter itself is dc circuits and ac circuits first we go for what is dc circuit the first one is what is dc circuit what is ac circuit what is dc circuit what is ac circuit if the circuit is connected with a dc source then suppose if it is a circuit or l c then if it is connected a dc source plus and minus if you connect a dc source or battery it is called it is also called battery if it is connected like this then it is a dc circuit if you replace this circuit with another one that is ac source if you connect here ac alternating current source then it is known as ac circuit the circuit which consists of active element is dc voltage or dc source then it is known as dc circuit or if it is replaced by if it is replaced by an ac voltage source then it is known as ac circuit now what are the parameters what are the relationships all in dc circuit and as well as ac circuit those will discuss one by one after that we will enter kcl kvl kcl kcl kvl kirchhoff loss and superposition theorem 
and all hence you require to subscribe and like the video